now going to make some Pilori. It is a snack that we indulge in the Caribbean. What you in America and in, in other countries will call as fritters. We would we have something called Pilori. It's more like basically a fried dough. Right. So this Pilori, we're going to make this Pilori with a few ingredients. We're going to use flour. We're going to use split peas powder. We're going to use baking powder, shadow penny, and I'm going to go outside and pick some saffron. I'm going to dig up some saffron. I'm not sure if I'm going to get big pieces. I'm thinking I'm going to get some small pieces because I recently digged up some, was to make some tea and stuff. So anyway, we will go outside and dig up some saffron. So I'm still going to use some saffron and some salt. So normally you would use yeast in this, but I'm not using yeast. I'm using baking powder alone. So I've never done it this way without the yeast, but I'm trying to cut back on my yeast. So let's try and make this pilori without yeast, but just the baking powder. I may put some tartar in it right just to also help it along cream of tartar that is all right i'm not sure we will see how it goes also i'm going to use some water and i think i'll have to get and some jira all right and garlic so those are all the ingredients that we're going to use to make this pilori so let's go outside get the um turmeric and come back inside and start to put this pilori together let's go So let me just show you before we continue, just show you the how dirty it is. Let's move into the light a little bit. See how dirty it is. So we're going to wash it. Right? We're going to wash this up. We're going to wash this out. And see that nice beautiful color. Like like this we will get almost to this color oh people will see it <laughs> seeing it better we still have some more washing to all of the measurements would be in the description so we have flour we have split piece powder we have turmeric we have salt and we have baking powder shadow benny slash cilantro this is the same day that I made this um, split peas, so I'm going to use that same oil. Listen to me. In this time we're living in, we ha you, you want to, con you, to use every drop of everything that you're using. You have no room to chop it. Oh my gosh, I used this oil to do this earlier. When I Hello, this 2020, we have no room to not even waste oil. Not even the, the, the smallest drop of oil. Right. So we're going to reuse that oil that we used earlier on to make the split peas. And I did put some um, chili in that oil when I was frying it. So it would be a little brown because I did add some chili powder to it. But anyway, regardless, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reuse that oil. And my dough has been resting for three hours because as I said, I did not use yeast. I am only using baking powder, so I let it rest for three hours. So now there is two methods. There is the spoon method, and there is the hand method. I'm going to, I am going to do the hand method. But the next clip, I will show you what I mean when I say the spoon method or the hand method, so you would understand. If you're not from the Caribbean and never seen it before, that is what I mean.
This is the trip I'm talking about. Let's go and let's start up with this pullover today. You, you want to set everything that's easy. So I have the container for the pullover. I have the mixture and I have water. That is to not allow anything sticking on my hand. To, to get a smooth layout of this, I just take it, my hand, put it in and grab it along the side of the bowl, pick up and squeeze. You don't want this too hot because you don't want the pylori to burn and the mixture isn't too soft where it's dripping but you have control of how much you put into the pot and you place them in and allow them to fry. Normally it is fried in a big amount of oil but you all know me and you all know my journey so we're not going to drown them in oil. But because we didn't use yeast and I let them rest for three hours they puffed up really really lovely. Well, I'm back again, and we're at the ending of the video. We just finished frying our blueberry. It's so soft and so flavorful. While frying blueberry, I've been tasting every hot one that come out because the best way to enjoy a good blueberry is really hot. So, I have been tasting almost every time I take out a batch of blueberry at this. So what you would normally have this with is would like would be a tamarind sauce that would be a little sweet and a little peppery or you would have a mango or pomsite sauce. Those two sauces will either be a little on the salty but slightly sweet side and also very spicy. But you would have people who would not want spice, so you wouldn't put you know you would have some that isn't spicy so those are the sauces that you would normally go with this as i said earlier on when i was um, explaining this uh, pylori in most country it is known as a fritter all right so now let's taste this pylori for you all i know how awesome it tastes not because i did it because it really is really really flavorful all right let's stop going we're over a minute now i'm just Ramping. Let's taste this pilori. Mm. Mm. You all saw how flaky this thing is. Um, oh my goodness. It's like every time I bite one, I'm just blown away with the flavor. This is not something I would make regular. Years, years. When I say years, years, I haven't made this. I would normally go and purchase it. So you're tasting the fresh turmeric you're tasting the shadow benny it is in the amount of garlic fully flavored and very airy and light job well done thanks for watching another episode of kenna's corner